This episode of Hobie is sponsored by Ho Jeff. Save 25% with promo code HobiePod. Please note that any comments, jokes, questions, maybe, anything that we say on the History of Bad Ideas is all in good fun. And remember, we insult everybody. Our thoughts, opinions, questions, anything else, actions that we do on the show do not reflect any of our employers, organizations, advertisers, or anyone else that is associated with the history of bad ideas. And remember, at the end of the day, it's just a joke. Welcome to the History of Bad Ideas, episode number 516. I'm Jason. I'm Jeff. I'm Brian. And I think I got a loud kid out there in the green room. What's going on out there? Jeez, old. Keep it down out there, kid. Yeah. Keep it down. Yeah. Welcome, everybody, to the History of Bad Ideas. We need some security around here. Jeez. It's already going off the rails. That's what you get when you let Riff Raff into the green room. Tell me about it. Jeez. Where's the gimp? He usually takes him back out. We don't want to go there right now. No. The Gimp is not here this week. No, but we thank him for showing up last week. Yes, he did. Uh, Brian, was a big day. Gimp's, um, Gimp's first uh, episode in like 400 episodes. So, was it that many? Yeah. Yeah. His. Uh, I'll get that for you here. I got the stats. Uh, last time he was on was 157. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. It was uh, 515 was last week. So, it's a pretty big record. So, um, so yeah. Welcome, everybody. Uh, Jeff, how you doing? Doing all right. Good. Brian, welcome back. Yeah. To the lower states. Yeah. To the to the Midwest. Yes. Not the uh, Northeast. You were in Maine for a while there. Yeah, we were in uh, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Maine. Well, welcome back. New England. New to, England. To, to most people. Yes. Yes. Uh, how is Maine? Uh, I am actively searching for property and uh, employment. I don't blame you one bit for that. So it's it went very well. It's very nice. I guess we can zoom you in. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Get uh, out. Might gonna have to. No, you're okay. You haven't been up there in the winter. I, I I'll you're survive. Not. Okay. I, 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 I'm with you. Bring the snow. Let me have the snow. I'll not be, me. I will never move farther north than I am. <laughs> no, bring it. I'm with you, Brian. So could my wife and I visit? Please. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to bring the kids? Uh, depends on if you're going to bring all three of them. Yeah, yeah. Not the oldest, right? Not the oldest. Um. No, he's too loud. Yeah, he is too loud. <laughs> too, loud too loud for my taste. He's not getting snacks tonight, so it's yeah, okay. No worries for him tonight. Uh, yeah. So no, please, please visit. No. Um, first time uh, visiting that area. Just uh, amazing. I, I don't blame you. Uh, I love that whole area. Uh, Bar Harbor. Did you go to Bar Harbor? Oh, yeah. We were there. That's where we were the longest okay. on the trip. Yep. Uh, so we were in Boston for three nights total, flew in and flew out of Boston, mm-hmm. rent a car, rented a car, and drove up. from Boston up. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. You didn't by any chance visit my land on that one island in the middle of that one lake, did you? You know, I think we did go by that on... Um, our our uh, cruise. There was oh. a sign that says Jeff's Island. No, I only own a square inch. Of well, it. yes, but or still, a square foot. I can't remember. I think now. square foot, square inch would not be much at all. No, no, it was it was something you got uh, when you ordered this stuff from Cards Against Humanity uh, years. Yeah, back square foot, square foot of land could have been a square inch. I can't remember. Now. Gotcha. I'd have to double check my uh, deed. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, overall, I mean, the weather was amazing. Mm-hmm. Like no, like it was just like fifties to seventies the entire time. Yeah. Though. Like we got, we flew in as the rain was leaving. Mm-hmm. Um. So the weather was um, just beautiful. I got so, you. Just yeah, all around. Didn't didn't want to come home. Um. The best part is that there's so many little small towns up in Maine. Yeah. That it's just, you can fall in love with them and that. We drove through one time uh, through a small town, I don't even know it, and somebody passed away, and they were literally move, holding the casket and doing the funeral procession through the whole town. Like, the whole town was out for the person. Um, and then we saw one guy playing a, a flute on the uh, harbor. I thought you were going to say bagpipe. And it was very creepy because the fog was rolling in, and it was just one guy playing the flute out there. <laughs> And I was like, this is like a Stephen King. This was for the funeral or just? No, separate oh. part of the town. One guy was by himself. I guess he was mourning by himself. And it felt like this is a Stephen King film. Is he the devil? I'm not sure. Yeah, we uh, also did uh, We did go to Salem as well. How was that? Uh, Lots of people? It's a town. <laughs> um, I've seen it. Will um, you ever go back? I, I would be hard pressed to go back. Like, Granted, I know I we went the week before Halloween, mm-hmm. so this is like their busy time. Yeah, it's prime peak season for them. I get mm-hmm. it. Um, but yeah, that uh, it was a Sunday when we went. The, we went on Sunday, and I think they said that they had expected a, a, around two hundred thousand people in and out of on that day. On that day, oh my god! Um, that's like the city of Cincinnati filtering in and out, right? Jeez, oh, um. Thanks. So the smart part on our end was we ferried from Boston and we didn't drive. Good call. Um, Because there wouldn't have been anywhere. Hey, kid, keep it down. (laughs) Keep it down out there. We're trying to do something in here. (laughs) Jeez. Jason threw his treat that he refused to eat three weeks ago. That's been sitting there ever since. And I actually nailed my son in his head. (laughs) That was a pretty good aim. <laughs> um, How come you can't throw like that during softball? Tell me about it. I only have one distance. He's that one distance. Ah, that's the distance. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, had we have driven, I would have. I I probably wouldn't have even tried to stay. Like I like the just congestion from yeah. cars and it's a small ish area. Um, every garage that or place like someone's backyard where they were like parking parking was fifty dollars fifty dollars and you had you had to leave by like 12 like by midnight okay like you, like you couldn't like if you left your car they just they would either tow it or like i don't know keep it <laughs> um, just move it to the back i don't know what car you're talking about sir yeah know. so that was i mean it so did this sounds really dumb, but is it kind of like a Gatlinburg? Like you just walk up and down the strip of Salem? Uh, it's not really a strip. It's like everything's kind of like the central downtown area is kind of where everybody was. Because mm-hmm. that's kind of where all of like the haunted attractions are. Yeah. Like within three or four blocks in downtown. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like there's stuff to do. Like there's a history museum. Like there's all kinds of stuff to do all throughout the town, but most of everybody was like right there. So were you able to do much at all in Salem um, because of so many people? So well, the one thing that I did enjoy the most is like they off they have like a um, a trolley tour. Mm-hmm. So like where the ferry drops you off at the you know at the dock, it like you can just jump on the. F- the trolley and it's like a guided historical mm-hmm. um, tour throughout the town. Um, that was worth it. Okay. Um, it like the guy that was like the, the guide born and raised mm-hmm. lived there his entire life. So super, inf- you know, information. Yeah. And uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, we got to see like the memorial for the, the witches, um, you know, how many of the uh, killed her up there? The witches zero. Fake witches. Oh, not real witches? Yes. I believe all told it was 20. Chisel. Um, But yeah, I mean, we didn't like actually like do like we didn't do any of the haunted stuff. Go like on any of the ghost Mm -hmm. things like 
the lines were just yeah out, hours. Like, yeah. Like, I mean, we got off, like, when we got finished with the trolley tour, it, like, drops you off, and there's, like, a, a mall and some stuff. And, like, we were like, all right, cool, we're just going to go in the mall, go to the bathroom, and then we'll start walking. Uh, we had to wait in line uh, 27 minutes to go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's just how many, I mean, yeah. you're, you're like, everybody's the same thing because like most of the stores or places are very small. So like they, every place had someone, like they had a limit of how many people could come in yeah. and out of the stores. If like, if you, if you weren't a customer, you couldn't use their bathroom. So it was like, <laughs> I'll buy gum, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. But, um, I mean, like I said, I, I've seen it and I, you're good. I'm, I'm good. It's like the Sturgis of witchcraft. Yeah. <laughs> one month yeah. of the year it's popular. Sturgis is one weekend. <laughs> like we we had friends that went one year in April that said it was it was busy but not like overwhelming. Yeah. Um but to me like I don't really I don't really think about Salem in April. Like Yeah. It's kind of a fall like hence Halloween. the reason 200,000 right. people go. Right, exactly. That's un- unbelievable in one day. Yeah. How much money do you think those st- shop owners make in that day? Well, I mean, that I'm sure October is their... their yeah. That's it. That like, just feeds them through the whole year. Right, yeah. Hmm. Um, but I think when we got home, like, we were kind of just, like, you know, rehashing and talking about everything that we did. And I think we both kind of agreed that we would have rather have had that day mm-hmm. in, in Bar Harbor. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, um, still... I got gotcha. uh, great, great time. Good. Well, welcome back, Brian. You missed a lot here. Uh, There's a lot of I mean, excitement going on. I uh, I did I did listen in to mm-hmm. uh, to last week's episode. So yeah, uh, there was a lot going on. Uh, Jeff and I were here and in the gimp. In the gimp. Yeah. Yeah. Now yep. that was partially my fault. I couldn't. Uh, we had to switch it up because of Halloween. So yeah, that's Halloween I, fell on our regular Tuesday, and yeah, uh, that meant people. You know kind of busy that night things yeah. going on especially those with children correct correct um but i did i was able to get some new cookies i know we've had these before a couple I, years ago i don't believe that i've ever had this oreo. hot cocoa flavor cream oreo i have marshmallow not. and hot cocoa flavored cream must have been before you joined and look look ryan it's chocolate and, or it's brown and white cream Look at that. Hmm. Brown cream with white specks. Oh, it even smells a little bit like cocoa and Oreo. So uh, I saw this. I was pretty excited. Uh, my wife actually saw it first, and she's like, did you guys try this one? I was like, we did a couple years ago. It does got a good smell. It does. And so I was like, and then she found the next thing that we're going to try a little bit later on today. Uh, Ritz crackers in, covered in fudge, which scares me. I'm not really too impressed or too excited about that one i like crackers i'm not sure about fudge covered how do you not like fudge i mean that's the way to make ritz better mm. not really tasting a cocoa to them yeah that's in the chocolate of the cream yeah you can kind of taste that powdered uh hot chocolate hmm not great not bad it'll make you ejaculate will we will do that um, it's not bad. No, it's it's a it's a Oreo. Kind of tastes like a regular Oreo. I'm not getting any of the cocoa. Yeah, I just ate the cream. Where mm-hmm. the cream separate tastes different than re- regular Oreo mm-hmm. cream. But yeah, it was it was good. Yeah, I'm not I'm not blown away by it. No, I'll try it with the the, the cookie. whole cookie. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not really blown away by. It. I mean, it's fine, but I would look rather. Mm, there it is. There's a little bit of the powder. You know, it's still not great. Um, yeah. Speaking of that, speaking of food, it's better with the cookie than with just the cream. Than just yeah. the cream. I don't disagree. Uh, what is speaking of that on Twitter or X poll of the week? You can find us at Bad Ideas Podcast. What is your favorite Thanksgiving side dish? Uh, since Thanksgiving, the pointless holidays come up in a couple weeks. Uh, we had stuffing, yams, cranberry sauce, and mashed potatoes. Uh, in last place, cranberry sauce at 5%. 5%. Uh, 10% with yams. You like yams, don't you, Jeff? Nope. 
Oh, I thought you did. I don't uh, know if I've ever had yams. Really? That's the dit man, I think, that likes the yams. Or well, he likes sweet are, potatoes. Those are sweet potatoes. Yeah. Sweet potatoes and yams are two different things. Are they? They are. Okay. They both taste like ass. Sweet uh, potatoes is what we tend to get here in the United okay. States. And winning 60% to 25%. This guy surprised me. Stuffing over mashed potatoes. I thought homemade mashed potatoes would do it. No, that doesn't surprise you, you didn't say homemade. Well, I didn't potatoes. say homemade. I apologize. It was just mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. Well, one, it's Thanksgiving. Everything should be homemade. Yes. My different feelings, good stuffing, mm-hmm. stuffing made the right way, nothing beats it. Okay. But it can be made the wrong way pretty easily. Mm-hmm. What about stovetop? Uh, sto- stovetop is... If you use it as a base, mm-hmm. it's okay. Okay. I mean, you got to kind of add more to it than just stovetop. I got to. Uh, I mean, mashed potatoes are mashed potatoes. I mean, yeah, you can screw them up, but no one's going to screw them up that bad. Homemade mashed potatoes are amazing. I, they're homemade mashed potatoes. Oh, I, mean, I love them. I, I made them last night. I mean, it's. Yeah, I like it. It's potatoes whipped with <laughs> butter. Butter. But you get little salt. chunks in it, though. I mean, get the little chunks. If depending on how they're made, yeah, yeah. that, like that is an, that is an option. I, I, I tend to try to get rid of the chunks. Cause, oh no, I like the little chunks. You know, I don't like because then it's just closer to eating a baked potato. <laughs> I mean, um, when I eat baked potatoes, I smush the crap out of the baked potato, so it's closer to a mashed potato. <laughs> Um, uh, I'm not done. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was going to ask. Brian. You got me talking about Thanksgiving food. I okay, got a point. Okay, because <laughs> you don't like turkey. Not a big fan of turkey. Okay. Um, yeah, so whenever we have an alternate to turkey, uh, mm. I'm always over that. Okay. Uh, but uh, cranberry sauce, like when you think of that, you know, I just think of that ick that comes out of a can that still holds the shape of the can. Yes. That's nasty. Yes. But my uh, parents, a couple years ago, one of their neighbors made like some homemade cranberry mm-hmm. sauce. Oh, it was so good. I didn't know it could be that good because you're just used to that gel, can. that canned gel. Ah. But I mean, I could, I, I could, uh, I would bump up cranberry sauce if it's actually the good stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, More of a chutney or something, I guess. Uh, a chutney, <laughs> chutney. Or, I d- it or, is or awful. Salsa. When, it is awful when you drop it out of the can and it's just like. It and shakes it just, and, and it doesn't lose its form no it's just this purple glob so brian what's, what's your favorite over here of the four yes um or if you have another one yeah i mean stuffing and mashed potatoes would be uh yams no if it's like sweet potatoes i'm in Ugh. um like jeff said cranberry sauce like i'll I, I'm good with the the canned stuff. Like I'll eat it, and then it's fine. Mm-hmm. But if it's homemade cranberry sauce, do you like turkey though? Oh yeah. Okay. I'll give it. I'll, I'm good with pretty much as long as uh, yeah. I just it doesn't matter. I'm just good with all the, of it. Just give me the turkey skin. Yeah, give, give me the well, turkey skin. Just I'm not a big just, turkey fan. It's I, just eh, whatever. Again, I mean, you want the skin. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Again, I feel like that's another thing where, like, it's if it's prepared, I mean, you know, like if it's no comment overcooked or yeah. overcooked or undercooked, then it's yeah. going to be bad. I mean, it's very easy to make poor. It, it is. Um, it's got to be good and moist, but yeah, even then, I tend to find other forms of meat or proteins. I'll take the more dark enjoyable. meat over the white meat. I'll take the dark. The dark meat tastes. Better if it's miscooked, I would say. I think if it's nice and juicy and cooked proper, the white meat then tends to taste a little better. I do like it for leftovers, like sandwiches. Oh, yeah, big time. I'll take same uh, turkey sandwiches, but yep. turkey by itself, eh, not too much. I'm just not a big Thanksgiving fan. I'm in. Um, and I appreciate that the stores are not open on Thanksgiving night, but I would like for them to be open on Thanksgiving night so I can get out my <laughs> get-togethers. <laughs> Oh, yeah. gotta go! It's six o'clock. Target's open. Damn it! Yeah, you were that guy. Yeah. Again, I think it's ridiculous that they are like they would be open. I don't think they are this year anymore. No, pretty much. Uh, they all went. They the, most of the big ones. I'm sure. Uh, Even Walmart's open. Not not open till Friday. Oh, they they're not opening mm-hmm. like Thursday night like they usually do. Nope. Oh, um, good. I think a lot of it is that they were losing. 
Especially after COVID, they're like, why are we doing this? Not many people really want to come out this night. No, but I mean, to, that gives them an opportunity to, to compete a little bit more with Amazon. Yeah. Well, I'm going to uh, say the one thing, though, is lately the deals have not been worth it for people to go out and spend their time fighting crowds correct. or getting there real early or giving up their holiday to go shopping. The deals just aren't worth it. Uh, online, there has been some really good deals this past week. Um, yeah, and I feel like this year I've noticed more people doing like a all month long mm-hmm. like Black Friday yep. in November. Target started. Yes, Target was doing it. Wal- Walmart seems like they have a deal every day, and it's right. like they're just too overwhelming. I can't figure it out. Walmart, what do you got? Yeah, um, but I have noticed that I feel like a lot of people are trying to take advantage of that and make it like a month long thing because they're probably losing a day and a half of like the crazy, you know, busy days. Yeah. um, But as someone who worked in retail, I can appreciate them not. Correct. I agree. Being open and, you know, putting their employees through that because it sucks. Oh, I agree. Like, trust me, Mm -hmm. I agree. Like we used to work retail too. And yeah, it's horrible. I just would like it selfishly so I can get out, get togethers. (laughs) <laughs> That's all I want. Maybe I could just make it up. Oh, yeah, Walmart's open tonight. I'll be back. <laughs> no. Uh, toy stores at yeah. Christmas time. Suck. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. For sure. Hey, Toys R Us is coming back. Did you see that? They're in Macy's they right their... now. But they're going to come. They have six stores opening. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Six standalone stores? Yes. Yes. Ooh. I don't think they're going to be like... 50,000 square feet again. Oh, no. They're, but, gonna, they're, they'll probably be KB toys size or something. There was a good question I saw on X or Twitter or whatever the porn site is now. Twitter. We just call it Twitter. Okay. We don't need to. Uh, what store, big franchise store, like, you know, nationwide, do you think will uh, end up closing up next for good? Hmm. I think Best Buy. I could see Best Buy. Well, the lo- my local one closed, so. Yeah. They're gone. And every time I drive past it, which isn't much, but when I go over that way, I'm like, hey, that closed? (laughs) Like, damn it. They do have an online presence, though. They do. You still get Best Buy stuff uh, and usually have good deals. So I don't know if they'll be able to to operate, you know, as as online and then have uh, maybe one or two stores in every That you could pick up, maybe. Yeah. I actually just bought my wife her christmas present from best buy it's uh she wanted one of those shark romp roombas or whatever oh, i thought you were gonna say shark natives no no so th- i got the shark one that dust and or that vacuums and mops it was over 200 dollars off uh so nice i was like job. okay i can handle that one um so yes i got my wife a vacuum cleaner basically for christmas so that's great um the one option online they said uh, one person said jc penny which i didn't even realize oh. they were still open yeah, I, like you said, yeah, no, JCPenney will disappear soon. Their online presence isn't that great. No. I've tried to shop there online, and it. I, I think I ordered a couple things there. Mm-hmm. And, but, I mean, I didn't feel the prices that I was paying uh, for their stuff was any better than any place else. Yeah. Uh, Brian, you got any thoughts? Um, I'm just trying to think of some of the big ones that are, like, even still – like around like you got target you got walmart you got jc penny which again i didn't know no, target and walmart are gonna they're not gonna yeah. they're not going anywhere um for best buy dick sporting goods i could see i mean dicks could be but i where else do you go for sporting goods so that's the thing well i guess oh, i mean no. to be honest though i like for my like, kids sports if kids sure it, that's a, i actually order a yeah. lot online because it's cheaper yeah and the funny thing is, like, if you go into the Dick's Sporting Goods. But when you need it that day. Sure. Now, well, granted, I know a lot of Dick's stuff is going to, they order it for you. Like, yeah. ball gloves. Yep. Uh, my ki- uh, my parents uh, took my oldest kid in for a baseball glove two years ago for his birthday. A brand new one. And they're like, oh, well, he can try this one on, but we don't have it in stock. And it's like, uh, oh. Sure. And they ordered it <laughs> in the store. <laughs> like, Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> they have enough to, you know, where you can try it on and fit for it, and then they'll order it for yeah. you. Yeah. Do, do they send it to you, or do you yeah. still have to go back they to send the it store? To you. Okay. You pay for it in store. <laughs> it's just uh, a weird, like, system. And then you have but, to... I mean, yeah. That's the thing. Especially, like, shoes. Yeah. 
like nowadays shoe stores, you know, because you have to carry so many different styles and so many different sizes. Mm-hmm. And if a size gets popular and you run out of that, oh god, I, it's it's a headache. Coles, that's another store. I, that that was one that I was just about that I was thinking because I was I was envisioning like all of the things that are around like mm-hmm. uh, Costco where we shop. Yeah, Coles is one. Uh, Meyer. Meyer's not going to go anywhere. There's, Even if they have an awful online presence. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah, but they've never – I mean, they haven't needed to no. have an online presence. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're mainly like grocery Kro- store. Kroger's yeah. doesn't have, like, a huge online presence yeah. either. I mean, I I mean, I use the app for, you know, for coupons mm. and, the you know, all of that stuff. Yeah. But I don't really go to Kroger's website ever. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, but I'm just thinking. Honey, what are you doing down there? I'm on the Kroger website. Nah, I'm, well, we do, I, and you know, order to pick up, and they shop for list, you. Yeah. The click list, yeah. Yeah, you can do that through the app. Yeah. So, oh, okay. like, well, I, the, the I app mean, is the same as the basically yeah. website. I mean, Amazon, I use the app more than I use the website. Same. I, I buy shoes from Kohl's online. I was going to say, I shop, honestly, I shop at Kohl's more than anywhere online. Mm-hmm. Um, for clothes and stuff. Yeah. Um, I will say I always liked Cole's closeout sections. Yeah. Yeah. They had the type of clothes I like and the sizes that fit me. Mm-hmm. I could usually find something there They had in, a, in, uh, at a cheap price. They did have a good Lego set for my daughter for Christmas that was $80 everywhere, and they had it on sale for 55 bucks that day. So we got that. So... Welcome to Shop Talk. <laughs> hey, why not? You know, one I was just thinking about that's not really like a – doesn't have like a massive footprint in like the large size stores, but is mm. uh, Big Lots. Yes. Like th- they seem to have been everywhere, but like they're kind yeah. of slowly like we, going away. We but... have a brand new one in our town. Oh, really? <laughs> in my, my town. <laughs> my local one's gone. <laughs> like we had one by us over in like Pleasant Ridge there by Lowe's. Mm-hmm. And like that's been gone, so – but they're not cheap. I mean, they're we went. So, we went. Excuse me. We went in ours, and it's like it's fucking expensive. It's like this is big lots. Like it's supposed to be a little bit cheaper price. No, oh. Oh. it doesn't I, matter. I, I felt they were cheaper. But I mean, just ours the, was not. From what well, we saw, it's new. That's so. true. That's like true. give it like a month. They're not getting rid of the stuff yet. Well, I mean, now you gotta just go to Ollie's. Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> Ollie's is such a. a weird place that I love going to because you just never know what you're going to get there. God, I've only been there like twice. And I think we only went there once because your brother said they had mm-hmm. something for us to taste. <laughs> <laughs> you can get those at Ollie's. I saw them. Oh, well, let's go to Ollie's and find out. They're like, uh, what's that place that he likes? The Beaver Hands place. Bucos? Bucco, what about Bucky's? Bucky's. Bucky's. <laughs> Bucos. <laughs> What? It's like Bucky's. There's just a lot of shit in this area, and I don't know what I'm looking at. Of course, they don't have a beaver hand mascot. They, they, they don't. They just have, like, I think they're, like, on their ads or, like, whatever. It's just, like, an old man. Yeah. <laughs> like, their logo is just, like, an 80-year-old man. We got this homeless guy. Just come on in. No, this is, this is Ollie. <laughs> come in, Ollie's. Ollie will be uh, <laughs> in-store signing autographs. Uh, is that the guy from Six Flags? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Six Flags, they are merging with Cedar Fair to yes. become like the uh, what, uh, theme park or uh, of the U.S. Park, conglomerate. Uh, yeah. There's yeah. A, there's a monopoly on theme parks now. There, there is. The good news is apparently that they both currently have, if you buy uh, this pass or whatever, it gets you into all their parks. Huh. So when they merge, then... It will work. You're doubling the amount of parks you can get into now. And the price will double. Uh, Universal is Studios is opening up a new kids theme park and amusement park in Texas. So Well that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's only it's uh geared for three to eleven year olds. It's only for kids. I mean they said adults can go, but there's no oh. <laughs> but it's like being built across from a residential area. Oh and so I was look watching this online, this little thing. And uh, they went into like the the lease agreement, like with the city council, and that like the uh, buildings can't be over a hundred feet tall. Like they have to have their like they have a buffer zone of parking. And people are online like that's ridiculous. Look at all the parking that they have. How dare they? And it's like, but that's the buffer zone between the residential, the street, and the the amusement park. Are they building a wall between that? And they the, are and the border. <laughs> yes, yeah. they're at it. What uh, city? 
You know, or near? Uh, Frisco. Frisco, Texas. Oh, I don't even know Frisco, Texas. Um, yeah. So they said that they're going to it, – it's a 97, um, 97 square uh, acreage. <laughs> you're gonna say square foot 97 yes. square feet for all you three to 11 year olds to just run around in a, <laughs> this is a little water park have a good day there's a splash pad have fun <laughs> uh yeah on january 11 2023 mayor jeff cheney announced that the city would be home to the brand new universal studios theme park it will be open in 2026 uh yeah so they said that they're not off. Uh, they're offering a lot of kids uh, friendly rides. It would be uh, trolls is going to have a par- theme. Uh, the idea, the rumor they're is they're getting trolls there. Oh trolls. My God. trolls are terrible people. Uh, <laughs> that would be funny. Okay, <laughs> residents, it's kid friendly. It's trolls, but it's actually the trolls under the bridge. <laughs> oh, I was thinking internet trolls. Oh, that would be better. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> this area is awful. <laughs> Close the borders, Jesus! <laughs> That's all they're going to do is you walk through this area. I hate what you're wearing. Can't believe that. Are you fat? <laughs> Welcome what? to America. <laughs> I can't believe you have a Houston Te- uh, Houston Astros jersey on. Rangers forever. They cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I think this could work. <laughs> Disney, take note. <laughs> um, they're also doing a Shrek area, supposedly, because that's timely. <laughs> 1989 call or 1997 call. Yeah, I'm about to say 89. Sorry, 1997 call. Um, I, don't, I don't know. There's some other Nothing links. more topical than Shrek for those 3 to 11-year-olds <laughs> who were... Not yeah. even thought about when Shrek yeah, when was the popular. the last Shrek came out, the 11 year olds weren't even born, born. yet. So. <laughs> but they got Puss in Boots. That's a new one. Oh, that was a good true. one. That was a good one. But it's not Puss in Boots area. It's not called Pussy Land. It's called Shrek Land. It's not called Kitty City? No, it's not called Kitty City. <laughs> Kitty City sucks. Shut up, troll. <laughs> Dead, Brian. Say it. Say it. <laughs> Say it. I, I don't know who Brian's more mad at. <laughs> that you, you brought it up. You me for pushing the button. <laughs> Welcome to Kitty City. Welcome to Pussyville. <laughs> Anyways, how is Kitty City doing? Business is booming. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a comic expo. It's October 19th through the 21st, 2025. Or 24. 24 and 25, actually. <laughs> and 25, yeah. I mean, it, it might not be the same dates. It's not 25. in Frisco. It's not in Frisco. It's in Sharonville. It has more than 97 square feet of, uh, <laughs> of space. Um, so your ticket's in a couple months at the Cincinnati Comic Expo.com. Uh, Matthew McConaughey may be there. Maybe. Uh, Christian Rinaldi might be there. I don't know who that is. Who's a soccer player? Ronaldo. Yeah, there it's him. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he won't be there. Beckham will be there. No, um, you no. can bend it like him. Nope. Uh, Ross Marquand might be there. He actually might be back. Um, Hayden Christensen might be there. Nope. Uh, he could. Christina Hayden. Ricci might be there. No. <laughs> we know that's not happening. No. <laughs> Katie nope. Cassidy might be there. Who knows? We don't know. Nope. Hopefully the peach of a person, Neil McDonough and David Ramsey. God bless them. I'll talk to them again. Bring them back. Uh, let's I, see. I think they want different people, though. Yeah, I don't. I don't care. If it's the same people every year outside of uh, J.D. Benson, it, it gets redundant. Maybe her kid's going to the University of Sharonville, so she'll be there. So. Online. Yes. U- University of Sharonville online. <laughs> Their rivals is the University of Phoenix. They're losing. Phoenix that. University or whatever it's called. University of Phoenix. And is it? They're losing mm. big time. And what's the other one? The shit one? Uh, South so- Harmon Institute of Technology. <laughs> Southern Hampshire, isn't it? New Hampshire? Southern New Hampshire, you know, SNHU. Oh, sorry, oh. not SHIT. No. no, that's South Harmon Institute of Technology. Yes, which was on. Ask me about my wiener. Well, it was the answer to my question last week. Yes. Where we would go? A fictional college. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, listener feedback. Oh. Uh, no, I was going to ask have we, have we got any more updates on how the expo ended up for. Uh, no, not yet. Nothing? No. Andrew is still in his hibernation period, and I see him three times a week, and he's still, he's still in his hibernation period with it. Uh, but it did end up well. It did Good. end up well. Good. Uh, we've got no complaints, 
uh, our side of it. So that was good. I imagine if we haven't gotten any by now. <laughs> Six weeks later. I don't know how we haven't gotten complaints, because I personally complained four or five times. Yeah. Yeah, but it was just to Dr. Dana. <clears throat> no, I complained to Andrew. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I wrote nasty emails. Good call. Good call. I had to wear a mask. No, you didn't. <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> you didn't have to wear a mask, sir. Why did you? So, uh, Brian, want to do the listener feedback? I'd be honored. Go ahead. Now my paper is all messed up. <clears throat> uh, listener feedback this week sponsored by Hello Jeff. Woo! Uh, promo code HobiePod for twenty percent off. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, we're doing twenty this week. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're doing what, what's in the What's in the Hello Jeff box? Uh, this week we have the theme of berries. Okay. Berry Manilow CDs. Well, it's food. Oh, okay. So I'll say no to that. Okay, Marion Barry. Uh, can you eat him? <laughs> he probably wouldn't <laughs> mind. Is he alive? Um, but no. You open your box, mm-hmm. and you'll find berries. Not in a bag. They're just in the box. They, they might be bagged. I mean, if you're lucky enough, you find a box of Smurf Berry Crunch cereal. I mean, oh. I've, I've been trying to find that for years. What but. about Captain Crunch All Berries? Well, that could be in the box. My it, youngest it, son just got some. Maybe like a... Uh, I mean, even just Crunch Berry. Right? It doesn't even have to be the all berries. That's right? true. Crunch yeah. Berry could be Maybe there. like a Hostess apple pie. Ooh, how that's about not cra- a berry. Oh, apples are not. You're no. right. <laughs> Craisins? How about that? Craisins. Uh, Craisins are not berries either. Mm-hmm. Raisins aren't berries either. Raisins <laughs> aren't... <laughs> Those crazy raisins what? are not what berries. What the fuck is a berry? <laughs> uh, like a like a raspberry, oh. strawberry. I could just well, picture craisins are because those are cranberries. A blueberry. But I just picture getting the box in the mail and having the whole bottom being wet and just like seeping through with the raspberries. Here we go. Point of order. Yes. Strawberries are not berries. What are they? Bananas are. Huh. So you could get a box of bananas. It's possible. I would be okay with that. I like bananas. I like bananas a lot. I wouldn't want a whole box. <laughs> Give me like t- three. Nah, I'll take a whole box. But I'll take those above even blueberries. Though technically, strawberries aren't berries. You might be able to get some. It's a surprise. It's I don't a, want blueberries in mine. I can't guarantee you won't get Damn them. Damn it. It's, so I'm going to circle back to vacation. It's a berry surprise. And ah! this is something that I was unaware of. Mm-hmm. But Maine is supposedly... I found out the blueberry capital of the United States. Ooh, really? So, did you go at, blueberry picking? Uh, they they're like the season to pick them is out. Like they're uh, they're not doing December that. through February. But <laughs> so that would be the worst time to have to go. <laughs> it was like it was just very like weird to me because I didn't know that I didn't either. But uh, blueberry ale. At like the breweries, Ooh. unbelievable. Okay, coffee at like some of the oh. local like coffee shops. Mm-hmm. They had like a blueberry, blueberry coffee. Bit. Yeah, mm. amazing. So oh. like, I feel <laughs> for me it was it's kind of funny because like it's basically like Maine or New England is shellfish. Yeah. So like I was prepared to just oh. I had my EpiPen picked it up before we left just mm-hmm. in case just thinking that but. Then we got there, and, and, like, I kept seeing these, like, advertisements for, like, blueberry stuff, and I was, like, I asked one of the ladies, and she's, like, oh, yeah, like, that's, we're very well known for that. And I was, like, I had no idea. So, like, I I went, I I was able to take a very different direction than what I was anticipating (laughs) for vacation. So, like, I went all in on the blueberry stuff. Did you still Um, use your EpiPen just for fun? (laughs) Just for fun. Fun. Um, Watch I'm, this. I mean, I do I do have a day off coming up this week that I don't really just have do it going. It's fine. So I, I I might. Yeah, just do it. I mean, so I paid for the it. clam chowder, but eat the blueberry pancakes. Yeah, like uh, very I, like again, like very weird. But um, the bad part is, is Maine doesn't ship uh, alcohol. Okay, like outside of the state. Mm-hmm. So like it, it, and they're not like they're not allowed to export it. Yeah, and hmm. they're like they don't have any kind of distributor ship set up with down. And you dro- well, you flew. So we flew. So like I didn't want to. I didn't want to try to bring a bunch of stuff back. Like, yeah. Um, and just, just deal a suitcase with that. full of beer bottles. <laughs> yeah. Um. So that's I'm, I was kind of bummed about that. So like yeah, every every chance I got like. 
I was trying to, you know, but that was just something that I was very unaware of uh, hmm. about Maine. So it probably puts the the River Ten Bumbleberry uh, uh, in the. That is a good. T- that is a good bumble. I, I like that one, but um, I'm assuming the main stuff is probably probably gonna be a little bit better. I think the what is the I can't remember the name of the brewery in Cleveland, but they have one. It's called Bumbleberry, which is pretty good. But and that's the one I was just talking. Yeah, River Town. The River Town was mm-hmm. in Cincinnati. Oh, but they have oh. a Bumbleberry too. Do they? Yes. Well, now I'm going to have to look that up. Do you know Ohio's the Buckeye State? Uh, I didn't, no, I didn't until just just a second ago. See, you learn why, something why, every. Why day? is that? I, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. All right, we start off with that one guy every week. Number one fan. A pans. Can't give yourself a nickname. Chili Billy. Sunny D. The Delivery Man. Beaver Hands. Nugget. Gorilla Hands. A pans. Well, uh, gorilla Hands too. <laughs> That could work. A pants. The postman. Delivers thrice. Doug. Dad. There you go. Uh, There's Doug. a fathead's bumbleberry. Fathead. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Uh, Doug's question says, uh, did Brian go to the Thirsty Whale in Bar Harbor? Uh, yes, we did, Doug. Ah, oh, and was it good? Yeah. Everything, I mean, everything yeah. there is was just... I, I didn't have a bad, really bad experience um, okay. anywhere. Okay. There was, I mean, the the only thing where, like, that wasn't great or mm-hmm. wasn't good, I guess, is, like, uh, uh, there was a good handful of stuff that had been clo- that closed for the season. Yeah. But most of the places were still kind of hanging on because the weather was so nice mm-hmm. they were, and they were still busy. Like, so. So if you move up there. You got to start, maybe start your own dog daycare up there. Be open all year round. Yeah. I, that, I, okay. It's, it's a possibility. Uh, trust me. I've already like looked into this like <laughs> okay. extensively, like for okay. work. Like I, we don't own any resorts in Maine. <laughs> so like I've, I, you know, I, I'm starting the process. Hey, if we're, if we're looking to branch out, mm-hmm. we're going to the Northeast. I, I'd be more than happy to. I've pr- I've tried to do that with my company and go, hey, we don't have any remote workers in Hawaii. Can I go? Like, just just an option. Yeah, just an option. Uh, what else we got here? <gasps> oh, look who it is! Oh no, you don't remember this guy? It's been a long time. Has it been that long? True. Give me some good sexy music. I don't think we have sexy music on the new board. Bam, chicky, bam, 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 chicky. That's not Brad. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know you like it. Yeah. I'm the delivery man. I got your milk order here. That's Doug. I'm the delivery man. No, that's Doug. We just read his question. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, I'm not sure what Ooh. Jason's doing, uh, but this question's from Nick Albright. Nick Albright. Uh, it says... It- <laughs> Cold. No, it's Nick Albright. <laughs> Nick Albright. That's what you <laughs> typed out on the paper. <laughs> Nick Albright. This was a thing years ago. Okay. Nick hasn't responded in a while or sent anything in. I see. It used to be, you know, they'd play the sexy music and mm. Blake would read it in a really sexy voice yeah. mm. while Jason groaned in the background. It was a thing. Okay. So that's not going to happen. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, Nick's question is for Jeff. Uh, he says, if Jeff could rename the last two months of the year, what would he name them? Well, since Nick is the one that... Since Nick is the one that uh, asked the question, I think I would go with uh, Nick Ember Ooh. instead of November. Yeah, yeah. We can go with that. And then December, I think I would probably name it Bob. Bob. And there we Christmas would fall on uh, Bob twenty fifth. Yeah, Bob could be a Bob in July. Oh, oh. yeah, it's in July, Bob in July. Hmm. Wow. Turn side over. 
Yeah, he he did that one time. It was playing the sexy music, and then <laughs> got like an ad pop up in the middle. <laughs> that was actually sexy. It's a royalty free music. <laughs> We're all about royalty free music here. We won't make that mistake again. Yeah, can he sex? Don't talk back. I think it's royalty free. No, no, it's not. Nope. Okay, so uh, there you go, Nick. Uh, uh, Nick Vember and Bob. Uh, uh, Jeff, we got some music here. Uh, next, we have from oh. Meow God at Meow God. Oh, no. Seriously. I don't want to hear it. You made me change the thing, and now I forget where the... Oh, oh I passed it. Um, where's Blake this week? God dang it. He would get my trip. He would get this. Uh, Meow God says, if only one body part could get a superpower, which part and what power would you get? Oh, that could be dangerous. Okay. What would you do? Oh, I'm just trying to think, oh, I mean, what body part would you want to be superpowered? I mean, come on. Brain. Okay, yes. Brain. And it would be like telekinesis. Or read people's thoughts. Which one? No, I wouldn't want to do that. Maybe put my thoughts into other people's head to get them to oh, do wow, things. Oh, yes. that's mean. You are a supervillain. Oh, that's fine. Um, you know what? To be perfectly honest, I kind of wouldn't mind having Homelander eyes. Oh. Where I could just, like, eviscerate people. Okay. Like, mm-hmm. you know, that would be, like, pretty I don't sweet. know. I, I just thought super-powered penis would be the best body part. To yeah, have. but then you have a lot of kids everywhere. Uh, no, I didn't say super-powered but if it's, sperm. Well, if it's superpower penis, I mean, that could hurt people. It could. Okay. You got to find a superpower vagina. You would have to go to Kitty City to find that. Oh, God, you're going in the wrong direction so quick. No. <laughs> no. Finger. I want a mighty finger. Oh. Like, Arsenio Hall has one. Well, was Arsenio like, Hall got his wish. I think it was right? like six feet long. Uh, I don't think it was. Oh, maybe not. Uh, what else we got? Uh, from Stork. Hmm. Rank the following noises. Car crash, nails on a chalkboard, baby screaming, I'm Megan. I'm Megan! Which um, one I think the order he wrote them in is the order I would put them in. So car crash is the worst? No, it's the best. The opposite order, yes. Really? Uh, um, I'm Megan is the most annoying of them all. I'm Megan! Um... Baby you know, scream- the chalkboard is pretty bad, but oh, baby screaming. It depends how long the baby's screaming. If it's more than six seconds, it's too oh. much. That's a tough call. Nails on a chalkboard and baby screaming, that's a tough one. I'm not sure. Uh, Brian, you going with the same order? Um, As them? Yeah, that, that's that's pretty, pretty spot on, actually. Um, Megan agrees. Least, uh, least to most annoying. Okay. Okay. Or, you know. Megan agrees. Honestly, microphone feedback. Oh, oh yeah. Bad one. <laughs> Walkie-talkie feedback's not yeah. great either. Yeah. No, that, 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 that was just static. Static. Yes. Feedback. Yes. That high pitch. That actually goes down my spine. Yeah. More so than, like, nails on a chalkboard, which isn't good to be anyway. But uh, What else we got here? Uh, next we have from Nickel at Graphic Novice. Nickel! Oh, I, I want to apologize to Nickel. Mm-hmm. Nickel, the reason the Oilers aren't doing that great right now is because Jason got the first pick in our fantasy uh, hockey draft mm-hmm. and got Connor McDavid, mm-hmm. and the whole team is now tanking because yes. of it. That is correct. That is correct. Uh, Nickel would like to know, what is your favorite conspiracy theory? Hmm. I'm trying to think of there's a conspiracy theory that I like. Okay. And what what you know would make something like a favorite? Uh favorite conspiracy theory. Uh the Hawaii Hawaii fires were put on by Oprah and the, and uh who's the guy that runs Meta? Uh, oh, uh Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. Yeah. They did it just to uh grab land cheap. That's a fun one. Uh another one. Yeah, but is that a good one? I mean, this is oh, your yeah. favorite. I'm like, most of the ones I think of, I'm like, 
the people that believe this, I feel pretty bad. Cup, a couple of them are Bigfoot is an al- is a pet of aliens Ooh, that were dropped here. That, Remember that, that one? one? Yeah, that was a good one. We, uh, exclusive uh, content we got uh, episode forty four years ago on. Yep, at the Miami Town Paranormal Festival, uh, episode forty four. Uh, Brian, you got any good at conspiracy ones? I mean, I'm trying to, the, the ones that are just so stupidly outlandish, like the the lizard people rule yeah. the government. I'm like, yeah, lizard people, okay. Um, yeah, I was thinking something along the lines of uh, uh, politicians drinking, sacrificing babies, and drinking their blood to, yeah. you know, that's not true. That's I, or. Oh, hell, well, the good one is uh, JFK Jr. is going to come back from the dead to yes. run the Republican Party. Was he a Republican? No. Oh, okay, just checking. But apparently... He they, had a change of thought. <laughs> I guess death will do that to you. He was hiding. He was hiding. Um, um, another good... Con- uh, JFK was... Uh, you know what? I will say this. I do go down a rabbit hole with this. Yeah. Time travel. <laughs> and the, the, that guy who kept uh, tweeting out or, or no, 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 that guy's an idiot. Yeah, the TikTok videos where no, he's no, no. time traveling. That there has been like little changes, kind of like the Mandela effect, not as much, but like little mm-hmm. tweaks that have affected things. And the one that I got, <laughs> this was a couple weeks ago. The guy went down rabbit hole. Was kind of funny. Um, that 2020. Uh, COVID was just because they were trying to go back and fix it, and that's why I kept breaking the timeline. So, Murder Hornets came a rep out. Well, <laughs> here we go. Because they went back to fix it, they did fix it, and that's why you don't hear about Murder Hornets after, like, two weeks' worth. Yeah, they fixed the Murder Hornets, but, but COVID still was... COVID they could never fix, but then they tried to do something else. So... Um, I, I think COVID was the, the reaction of them keep trying to change, going back and fixing, and eventually they broke it so bad that, that they kind of had to do a wipe. Yeah. And yeah. COVID was just the wipe. I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, I do I'm like, making up I, my own conspiracy. I do now. like the timeline, like the time travel conspiracy thing. It, um, it's not true, but sure. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. How do you not know? Uh, I, I read the Michael Crichton book timeline and saw the movie with Paul Walker. Yeah, so did I. Oh, I didn't read the book, but I saw the movie. The book was good. Uh, the movie was not, uh, but it was the same idea. So, anyone else? Um, what about you know the the conspiracy theories that actually might have some truth to them? Like you know, someone else was involved with the JFK assassination. That's a fact, isn't it? <laughs> it's not. I mean. The official report from the government Correct. is Hartley Harvey Oswald acted alone. Mm-hmm. But I mean, and, but then not this, not on the direction of the CIA, the CIA, mm-hmm. or or the KGB, or whoever. I mean, there's so many different people he was working with. I know a lot of people are saying uh, LBJ was behind it. That wouldn't surprise me. And that's the thing is something like that wouldn't surprise me. No. But um, probably not true. You know, we're due for one of those. What's that? A presidential assassination? I'm just throwing that Jeez out there. Jeez, old <laughs> Moving on. Well, I mean, they say after so many presidents, there's... Was it Reagan was the last one, right? The attempt? Attempt? Well... Dukakis. Michael Dukakis. <laughs> no, that's, they tried to go back in time and fix that, and that He assassinated ruined. his own campaign. <laughs> Look at me. I'm in a tank. Look at me. I'm a yeah. tank. Um, I'm going to... Uh, that, that is true. Uh, what about Aliens. And I'm not being – like, they're releasing a shit ton of stuff from the government about UFOs, I should say, not aliens. And people are like, yeah, eh, whatever. Cool. Like – Whatever, man. Uh, We're just trying to pay our rent. <laughs> like, just, just, trying to, just trying to make it. But the funny thing is, 20 years ago, this would have been a huge thing. 80s and 90s – well, that's 30 years ago yeah. – would have been a huge thing, right? The 80s were 10 years ago, right? Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah. But that's the thing. It's like 30 years ago, this would have been like, oh, my gosh, look at this. And now you're like, yeah, eh, whatever. There's UFOs. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah National Enquirer doesn't look so silly now, do they? <laughs> Weekly <laughs> World News. Bat boy. He's uh, back. There's definitely UFOs because it just stands for unidentified <laughs> flying object. Until it's identified, that it's is a correct. UFO. That is true. Is it an alien flying saucer? No, it's probably a balloon. 
but it's an object that's flying that a we weather do not balloon know. could be. There's a lot of fucking Chinese weather balloons. Weather balloon. Wow, that's true. That's true. What about the kid that got stuck in a balloon? Remember, he didn't get stuck. That was a ho. Oh, oh, that's right. Because those parents were fucking weird. Oh my god, were they? I I, I don't understand it. Weren't I they don't. on the, the the wife swap show? Yes, they were. Oh. Yes, they were. So that was a good, great idea. <laughs> Wife swap or yeah. the uh, balloon boy? Both. <laughs> How did that show get made? <laughs> Wife swap. And you know what? It's always opposites. I was shocked. I, <laughs> I was stunned that they would uh, put like drug dealing hippies in with you know strict uh, conservative. Uh, First off, they're not religious. drug dealing hippies. They're drug using hippies. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Hippies <laughs> are not selling drugs. They're just using them. Let's be real. Um. You know, just to let you know on uh, people with free range children. <laughs> it's like chickens. <laughs> I do remember that one. Like the free range one was, yeah, our kids went to the park. Where was that? Like five miles away. How old are they? Six. <laughs> okay. They know how to get home. <laughs> fine. It's fine. Uh, just are, let you know. Are they, are they grass fed children too? <laughs> no antibiotics. <laughs> no hormones. <laughs> so they're anti vaxxers. Great. <laughs> Mumps are going everywhere now. <laughs> uh, not to go way off tangent here, uh-huh. but um, I don't know if you guys have heard, but leprosy is making a comeback in Florida. Oh, nice. It's currently in the endemic stage. So uh, be on the lookout for, for that. In Florida? Yeah. Yeah, that, tra- that travels yeah. well. Uh, that tracks. Yeah, yeah. that tracks. Uh, just happened to come across that uh, apparently now nice. it's making well, a comeback. Didn't they like just recently shut down the... Uh, the leper colony in Hawaii. Really? I could be wrong, but oh. I know they had one there for like a long time. Then, so they all died. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I it was I guess remote enough. Then <laughs> coming to Fox in the fall, you're the last leper. <laughs> <laughs> last leper. <laughs> Who will be the last leper? In this leopard colony. Starring Mark Paul Gosler. <laughs> Followed by the Golden Bachelor <laughs> afterwards. i uh, just let you know, Gary, the Golden Bachelor, not our intern, uh, he had a tough choice, Brian, this yeah. week. And he ended Was up... Was this for the final? Uh, to get to the finals. Oh, okay. There's three left. He had to pick only two of them. And he fell in love with all three. <laughs> Wow. And he was making out with all three. So that, not at the same time. Um, so, yeah. But he, he left and he's like, it's fucking harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I was like, Gary, you're a 72 year old man. Get, get control of yourself here. Like, what's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you? He's uh, acting for the cameras. No, he was crying, Jeff. He's a good actor. I doubt that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's no like. Or he just might be unstable. Maybe that's it. <laughs> Um, I mean, he's no John Brolin or something, but they they all fell in love with him. So at that point, I'm like, there's like a 67 year old, a 70 something year old, and a 75 year old. Definitely go with the 67 year old man. At least you get more time with her. <laughs> wow. I, I mean, I, I don't know. Brian killed one of them off already. That's <laughs> true. I'm. I I just asked a simple question <laughs> that the internet didn't like. <laughs> yeah. And you should ask that question at Internet Troll Space in the, uh, the uh, Hollywood Studio. Or what is it? Universal Studios in Texas. I'm sure yeah. that, that would go over well. <laughs> God. Uh, well, so there you go, Nickel. Uh, those are our favorite conspiracy theories. Uh, all right. We're going to wrap this up with Professor Number 1 at Doctor Number 1. Which pop star would you like to see date a player from the Bengals? I would not. Bruno Mars. Oh, that would be fun. That would be fun. Um, Ed Sheeran? Is he pop? I'd call him pop. Okay. Mm, I like the Bruno Mars one. That would be a fun one. I mean, he'd catch a grenade for you. That, he, he would. He would. Um, he would bring the Uptown Funk. Oh, that's he right. Would. We would he have would. Uptown Funk in the jungle. Yeah, we would. Uptown I mean, Funk. Funk you up. Do we need that, though? Yes, we do, because uptown It's not what we need. It's what we deserve. (laughs) It's true. Um, I'll say... Hmm. Madonna? (laughs) No. I'll say... How about the one that does Coochie Coo? Charo? Yeah, can we get Charo? 
I'm not quite sure. She's a pop star. Is she Choo-choo. alive? Yeah, she's alive. Are you sure? No. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Coochie-choo. <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> Coochie-coochie. Coochie-coochie. That's right. <laughs> oh, God. This is ridiculous. Well, you're taking too long to decide, Brian. So I'm just going to start making my own stuff up. Coochie-choo. Coochie-coochie. Who's a coochie coo? I'm Megan. <laughs> you better go. I'm getting worse and worse impressions. I mean, we don't want Katy Perry because you know she was with Russell Brand and that pink. Would just, pink would be cool, but she's married right now. Is she this week? Yeah, this week she has an on again, <laughs> off again relationship with that guy. Um, they separated once and then got back together for like yeah. been nine years. Yeah, uh, it could change again. No, <laughs> uh, a decade ago. <laughs> Uh, I'll say Nicole Scherzinger, Nicolette Sheridan, <laughs> Neil McDonough. No, no, he he, he is faithfully married. Oh, to that's his right. Wife. That's right. Are you uh, picking someone? <laughs> I'm 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 trying, but you're Phil Collins. <laughs> uh, no. I can see it in the air tonight. What was that? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Wow, that was nothing close to the <laughs> song I think he's attempting to sing. <laughs> Could you tell me which song I'm trying to sing? <laughs> I, well, I'm guessing it's in the air. Yeah, but... that's it. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Pick a fucking singer! <laughs> uh, Demi Lovato. There you go, thank you. she the donut liquor? No. No. Is that Ariana Grande? It is. Okay. <laughs> never get them right okay moving on we got a category this week uh jeff what do we got uh we are going face off oh that was your cue for the music oh (laughs) tiny surgery i'd like to take his his face off yes what is face off? so we have face off it is where uh, a listener will send in a uh, a choice of you know, two different things, and then we kind of do the the discussion as to which one would uh, win in a battle. Or okay, and what do we what? got this week? This week from Randy R five hundred five at this is Randy two. Oh. That's T O O, not the number two. Okay, uh, face off. Who has a better work of film and television? Christina Ricci or Christina Applegate? Okay. The battle of the Christina careers. Uh, Christina Ricci. She has Wednesday, Yellow Jackets, um, Matrix Resurrections. Oh, the new one. Okay. Uh, Let's see here. Um, Let's hit the highlights here. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, Teen Titans, the Judas Contract cartoon film. Uh, the Smurfs too. The highlights, <laughs> yeah. So, okay, she was in Monster. She was oh. in the Adams Family. Bucky uh, Larson, Born to Be a Star. Oh, that's got Brian's favorite. Uh, Alpha and Omega, the animated movie. Uh, Speed Racer, the movie. Oh, she was in Speed Racer. Black Snake Mo- uh, Moan. Black Snake Moan. Uh, let's see here. Cursed. Uh, she was in the TV series Joey. Yeah. Uh, let's Casper. See. She was in Casper. Uh, Casper. Um, Sleepy Hollow. Yep. Two hundred yep. cigarettes. Yep. Uh, Pecker. Small soldiers. I like that movie. You did. Opposite of sex. Buffalo sixty six and the ice storm. Ice storm. Uh, so there you go. Uh, that is her. Um, you know credits Over. right there. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Who are we doing next? Uh, Christina Applegate. Applegate. Christina Applegate, best okay. known as uh, Kelly Bundy on uh, Married with Children. Yes. Uh, she also was in the new uh, vacation movie. Oh, she did start in the, the one with Ed Helms. Yep. As Rusty's wife. Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Oh, that was a fun movie. That That is a movie in all intents and purposes I should hate. Mm-hmm. But um, I enjoyed it. Alvin and the Chipmunks, Boys in, on the Hood. Boys on the Hood? Yes. Uh, uh, let's that see. one I'm unaware of. Uh, the Bad Moms franchise. Oh, yeah, she did yeah. that. I mean, she's got uh, the uh, dead, uh, 
what was the name of that show? She the Netflix did? show. The Netflix show. Yep. Uh, she was in. What was it called? I don't know. Oh, you got the one. You got the, I'm getting there. The Book of Life. <laughs> no, I think you already passed it. If you it uh, would have been very recent. Uh, let's see here. Dead to me. Dead to me. I was going to say go. dead like me, but that was a different show. Yes, that had what? dead to me. Uh, Linda Cardinelli in it. She was in the whole. Al- yeah, Linda Cardinelli and Christine Apple. Oh my gosh, she's in the whole me. Alvin and the Chipmunks series. Well, uh, I have not seen those, so I'm not. She was in the judging. Rocker. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's oh, see here. I was thinking of a rocking chair. Anchorman <laughs> series. Oh, anchor. Well, the first one was good. The second one was crap. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. The sweetest thing. Uh, let's see here. She sweetest was in the thing. Giving Tree. I did not know there was a movie. I didn't either. Uh, she was in Mars Attacks. Yeah. And don't tell mom the babysitter's that she was also in two episodes of Top of the Heap. Oh yay! <laughs> that was a spinoff of. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you, you didn't mention what she, she was in the t- television show. Was it Samantha Who? Was that what it was called? Yeah, she was in that too. And she had some other television show. Uh, web Shortly Therapy, that. The Muppets, The Grinder. She was only one episode of that. Uh, um, I'm not seeing anything else, Jeff. Well, she she had. I'm telling had, you, Jeff. Up was, all night. Uh, that wasn't the one I'm thinking of, but yeah, that's when the show. That one new was parents. not. That one was not as good as it should have been. Yeah, I remember you were so looking forward to it because it yeah. was at the same time you were a new parent. And, yeah. It was, oh, it's funny because the baby does baby things. Yeah, it did not work out well. Did you say the baby does baby things? Oh. Employee of the month. The movie? Yeah, I guess. With uh, Dane Cook. Dane Cook and uh, Jessica Simpson. Yep. She was also in Hall Pass. She was in an episode of Friends. Yes. Okay, so anyways, moving on. Who wins uh, for the... Th- I'm going to say Christina Applegate. I was leaning Christina Ricci. Brian, who are you going with? Um, She was in two episodes of Friends. Two episodes. Ooh. Oh. Does that sway your vote? Yeah, t- take that, uh, uh, Brad Pitt, Randy no. R five hundred five. Oh no, <laughs> no, I was oh, no. What's her? What? Oh shit! Uh, uh, what's her? The, the chin lady. <laughs> <laughs> the chin lady. The actress with the chin. The I mean, point. <laughs> most, most of all of them have chins. <laughs> Brooke Shields so with a very pointy chin. The Brooke. one, the one that uh, Peter Griffin used to break into the safe. In that episode of Family Guy. <laughs> um, Sarah Jessica Parker? No, that's the that's more horse face. <laughs> Cameron Diaz? No. Uh, from Election. Uh, Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> <laughs> that was the longest travel I've yeah. ever seen just, to just get to. Just because Reese Witherspoon and Christina Applegate played uh, Rachel's two sisters that was awful. friends. Oh, and right. I think uh, Reese Witherspoon was only in one episode, unless I'm your head correct. Ashamed. No, no, I'm not. Here. Brian, who wins? Christine you, Richard. You want me to hit the here? Oh, wrong. Who do you got, Brian? What are you um, going with? They're not winning any awards, so just pick one. I'm going to go with... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with 3G. Oh, I can't believe you. Oh, we win. Yay. Damn it. Mainly because of Casper. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jeff? Oh, God. Give me some news of the geek music here. Well, what if I don't want to? Oh. Well, then I don't get I had to, to find the sad trombone. Then she won't get on monitor or show. It's time for another installment of the news of the geek. While I read this article, you guys have chocolate-covered Ritz crackers. Uh, they're limited edition. These are courtesy of my wife. Uh, so what do you guys think? They're cra- Ritz crackers literally covered in, cho- in fudge. So while we do that, uh, let's see. It's a good here. cracker. That is delightful. No. I'm, I'm a chocolate fan. I have a sweet tooth. and I'm not. It makes the cracker taste better. You probably have my extra one. I only want one. I, uh, I will tell you, though, mm-hmm. uh, just yesterday I was at the, the grocery store, and I oh. had to go. Jason got the worst look on his face because. Uh-uh. No. I'll finish it, but. Uh, I mean, yeah. it's, how do you not like chocolate? I mean, I understand not, like, loving chocolate, but, I mean, you shouldn't be repulsed by it. No, it's not good. Not good. Ugh. So, anyway, uh, I I was getting saltines anyway, and I thought, oh, geez, you know what I like on my saltines? Chocolate cake frosting. Ew! Spread frosting on a saltine. 
Oh, a little bit sweet, a little bit of salty, a little bit of crunchy, a little bit of creamy. It's great. That cracker was awful. Oh, God. That was delightful. That was awful. About as awful as this guy. Look at all the chocolate that had melted on my hands. I get to lick off my ah. fingers. Mm. Per CBSSports.com, where Brian gets all of his news from. Uh, most of my sports news, yes. Uh, Blake Martinez retired from the NFL last fall to sell rare Pokemon cards, and the unusual gamble paid off with more than $11 million in reported earnings. Less than a year into the business, the former Giants linebacker has been permanently banned from a prominent online marketplace amid allegations of scamming customers. Martinez, 29, found Blake's breaks. Hey, I think that's why Blake's not here this week. Uh, his own collectibles company to profit in finding top-tier cards and merchandise from the Pokemon franchise. The business venture stemmed from research Martinez had done during the later stages of his seven-year NFL ladder. career. Ladder? Yes. Stages? Yes. After multiple customers took to Reddit, uh-oh, with accusations of wrongdoing, including orders never being shipped, the WhatNot Marketplace announced Friday that, quote, a comprehensive investigation led to the removal of Martinez's Blake's Breaks account. We really appreciate the community's commitment to reporting trust and safety issues, but not said in a statement. Our priority is ensuring a fair and honest experience for customers and upholding our community guidelines. After a comprehensive investigation into it, we have decided to permanently remove the seller from the platform, including the individual employees involved in misconduct. Uh, Also, all buyers impacted by the infractions have been refunded. Martinez, meanwhile, briefly addressed rumors of scamming during Instagram video days before the whatnot announcement. He did not explain or apologize for any specific actions, but acknowledged a staffing change and downplayed the severity of any mistakes that occurred between his company and its customers. I understand the optics. I I know the type of business I run. I made a good amount of money. Everybody knows in the NFL. I knew stepping into this was going to have a target on my back. Mm, Maybe that's not the reason. Martinez spent the first four seasons of his football career with the Packers. He parlayed a productive run as a starting linebacker into a three-year, $30 million free agent deal with the Giants. He was released two years later, appearing in just four games for the Raiders in 2022 before his retirement. Yeah. So Now, I heard he was uh, trying out for teams after he got in trouble and kicked off of whatnot. But, yeah, uh, correct. So, uh, yeah, I think that's part of the reason the yeah. news came out was because, yeah, he's trying to get back into football. Because he burned now, his bridges. He had to pay back all these people that he <laughs> scammed, and he needs money. Allegedly. Now, granted, it just said what not removed Blake's breaks. Yes. But, I mean, it didn't remove Martinez's market. That's right. I mean, he's got names up the wazoo. He could just keep uh, coming back. Martinez. Blake. <laughs> Blake. That, that's one of them. <laughs> Martinez. Martinez is Pokemon. Uh, I'm rather... Uh, into the Pokemon shirt? No, no. Uh, I'm I'm rather active on whatnot, mm-hmm. um, and a lot of people have been have been talking about this and like just some of the the shitty stuff that he did kind of sucks. Yeah. I, I don't know any specifics, but I'm just like his whole business practice was what just trying to buy bulk yes. things and then rip them open and to find the rare yes. cards and sell them. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of skill on that. I mean, you gotta know which ones are good, I guess. But, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or you pay someone to rip open a bunch yes. of packages. Is this guy good? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, per NewYorkPost.com, where Jeff gets all of his news from. Uh, I don't think I get any of it from there. A new expose claims that employees at Adidas experience anything but the good life <laughs> during their partnership with Kanye West. The nearly 10-year partnership between the rapper and the shoe brand ended in October 2022 in the wake of the musician's offensive, racist, and anti-Semitic remarks. But according to a new report from the New York Times, the billion-dollar deal was doomed from the start. Shocking. In 2013, a meeting at the company's German headquarters, staffers were thrilled to get started and prepared swatches, mood boards, and an array of sneakers to present to Kanye. Uh, according to the Times report, Kanye, I'm not calling him yay, fuck that, was not impressed. Quote, to convey how offensive he considered the designs, he grabbed a sketch of a shoe, took a marker to the toe, and, a, and, and according to two participants, explained reporter Megan Towie, he then drew a swastika on the shoe. That seems like what any normal person would do. <sighs> 
Uh, West apparently had trouble fixate, uh, uh, had a troubling fixation on Hitler and Jews. He allegedly later told a Jewish Adidas manager to kiss a portrait of Hitler every day, according to the Times. And Kanye also told Adidas colleagues that he admires Hitler's command of propaganda. Additionally, West also reportedly told a member of the company's executive boards that he had paid a seven-figure settlement to one of his own senior employees who accused him of repeatedly praising the architect of the Holocaust. Uh, let's see here. Uh, tears were common, the report alleges, so it was Fury. After interviews with former and current employees of Adidas and West, quote, along with hundreds of previously undisclosed internal records, inc- including contracts, text messages, and financial documents, uh, the downfall was years in the making. Uh, basically, the executives reportedly chose to look the other way and dismiss West's problematic behavior in lieu of profits. Despite the fact that West's contract contained a clause that would have al- uh, allowed Adidas to end the agreement if the, his actions harmed the company's reputation, it did, <laughs> eventually. Uh, in November 20, 2022, news broke that West had reportedly shown pornographic material, material to staffers who were working on his uh, Yeezy apparel line, including his own sex tapes and explicit images of his now ex-wife, Kim, the lady we shall not name. Uh, two former... Two dozen former Adidas and Yeezy staffers so alleged that West showed them smutty photos and videos during work meetings, and he also showed, oh, sorry, during work meetings, he also showed an explicit image of his ex-wife to a prospective employee during a job interview. Hey, you want the job? Take a look at this! Uh, After moving the Yeezy design operation abruptly in 2019 to to remote Cody, Wyoming, and requiring the Adidas team to move as well, West reportedly demanded a billion-dollar advance during a meeting with company leaders and angrily hurled a shoe across the room in a fit of rage. Hey, Jeff, who throws a shoe? <laughs> I mean, really? A shoe? <laughs> Brian, hey, uh, I need a billion dollars. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? I need a billion. Well, I mean, no. he, he was probably looking at designs of shoes, so it was what was in his hand. Oh, that's true. I mean, true. that's why he would throw that's a true. shoe. Uh, West and Adidas, reps for either of them, could not be immediately reached by the Post for comment. Uh, the partnership remained re- lucrative, though. Sales of Yeezys were to surpass $1 billion a year, and West became a bona fide billionaire. Adidas officially cut ties with this shithead in October 2022. And then they have the generic, Adidas does not tolerate anti-Semitism and any other sort of hate speech, blah, blah, blah. Thanks, Adidas. But, I mean, we did tolerate yeah, it. We, we tolerated it for, for six years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but after that, we but took a hard we, line saying. We don't tolerate when anti-Semitic uh, comments become public. Yes, yes. We will not stand for that. Yes. How dare you? If you keep your anti-Semitism behind closed doors, yes. we can tolerate In that. Cody, Wyoming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a piece of shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, I just like that he asked for a billion dollars. Hey, give me a billion. Uh, I mean, I don't think it. Works it's not well. really unreasonable though. When I mean, that's what they're his making shoes billions are making Adidas in one year. Could you imagine that? No, a billion dollars in shoes or apparel, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I get I, it, but it's just the and they're like it's the, they're the ugliest things ever. You talking about his the personality shoes. or the shoes? His oh. ex-wife? Yeah. I, All of them? <laughs> Collectively, the, yeah. the entire thing, yes. But no, like, the shoes are awful. Go fuck yourself. He's such a piece of shit. Yes. He'll be our next president. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's, uh, Jeff, you got some box office news? It's time for Box Office Bombs. I had that one ready to go. Good job. Yay. Uh, the bomb this week, per 411mania.com, John Cena's action comedy Freelance held onto its spot in the top 10, down a solid 40% in its second weekend to $1.2 million. The film grossed $4.2 million domestically and $5.5 million worldwide against a $40 million budget. This will be money. Uh, this will be a money loser in a big way, and should close out its domestic run around six to eight million. You don't think it's going to make back forty million? I don't think it's going to make back forty million. I don't, I don't even. I don't f- even think in. Yeah, I haven't even heard of it. I have no idea what this is. It, it's a John Cena action comedy. It had a zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, 
at one point. I'll oh. see what it is yeah, now. Yeah, see what it is now. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the movie that's going to pass X versus Sever. What's that at? 2%? Oh, that's at 0%. Is it? Okay. It, it's, there's quite a few at zero, but it has the most reviews at a 0%. 0%. It's still at zero. Okay. Yes. 76% audience score, though. That's 76? Yes. <laughs> well, I guess only John Cena fans have seen it. So. Allison Brie, Christian like Slater. Allison Brie. Christian. Alice Eve. Alice Eve, she's cute. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm gonna go, let's go to the theater and see that. Okay. Uh, from RogerEbert.com, there's a oppressive nothingness to freelance. No romance, no comedy, no action. No, no, no. It's an action comedy. It said nope. so. Uh, Globe and Mail said John Cena deserves better, and so do we. Damn. Does John Cena deserve better? I guess. John Cena deserved a better retirement match, I'll tell you that much. It's not going to be his final match. He'll be but back. I don't know. Oh, no. Wait, did he lose and has is forced to retire? No. Oh, okay. No. It just <laughs> uh, at uh, the Crown Jewel in Saudi Arabia, oh, supposedly okay. he wrestled his last, last match. match. And Solo. Yeah. Uh, Roger Solo? Yes. Wow. Roger Moore, not the actor, from Movie Nation goes, very dumb, barely covers how silly and violent... Jesus, this half-assed Banana Republic riff turns out to be. Wow. Okay. That's quite a word to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing, you know, you, you kind of have to be mean, because if you show any slight the movie's okay, it might give it a good rating. That's true. Uh, what was that one terrible movie? Uh, the Wing Commander. W- Will Ferrell, Sherlock Holmes movie. Oh yeah, that was awful. Oh yeah, it, it like had didn't it, get a zero rating because one guy found one nice thing to say about it. <laughs> so I like, read up. the review, and the review tears it apart. But it said one nice thing about it, so they gave that a good what? review. Freelance is the kind of movie that once gathered dust in the direct to DVD bins at Blockbuster. That's from Richard Richard Quarles. Quarles? Yes, I don't know who that is. Yeah. So there you go. Hmm. All right. Moving on. Okay. The top five of the week coming in at number one with $19.4 million is Five Nights at Freddy's. Hmm. Total of $113.6 million on a $20 million budget. I think it's a hit. Looks that way. And that's also, isn't that streaming also? So you don't even have to go to the theater? Correct. And it's making $113 million at the theater? Yeah, they said Peacock doesn't care that they put it on both because they said it still drove viewers to Peacock. Yeah. It well, was the highest. Peacock would be thrilled with, you know, getting the viewers, but enough people got it to $113 million on a 20 million. I mean, whatever Peacock gets is. It's the icing. highest viewed movie. On Peacock in the first five days. Of uh, anything they release. surprise me. So I have a feeling they'll be releasing kid friendly horror movies every October. Yeah. Probably Five Nights at Freddy's 2 and 3 and 4, but. Electric Boogaloo? Yes. Coming in at number two, Taylor Swift, The Eras Tour, made another $13.5 million, a total of $165.5 million on a $20 million budget. Hmm. Kind of expected it to do a little more. Like, isn't that what, kind of what they were hoping to get, like, in its opening yes, weekend? Yes. Is its total? Yeah. Also, it doesn't help that it's six hours long. I thought it was only three hours long. Whatever. <laughs> Speaking of six hours it long. It probably feels like it's six hours long yes. when you're watching Taylor Swift sing. Speaking of six hours, it's the next one. Uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. It made another $7 million, a total of $52 million on a $200 million budget. Yeah. That's a large budget. They don't care. They're going to give people to Apple. Oh, this is Apple. Okay. Yeah, that's what they want. They want to score Scorsese's film on Apple. Yep. So. I was thinking that's that's kind of low that's uh, why they, if it's for Apple. Okay. So that's why they raised the, and Apple, right? Not on Apple yet. Not on Apple. Oh, so. It's in okay. theaters, I think, like for a month. And yeah. It goes to Apple. Gotcha. App, that's why Apple raised their rates to $11 a month. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Just for that. No. Apple don't have commercials yet, right? No. no. Okay. Well, at least they're doing something right. That's true. If I'm paying for it, no commercials. Disney doesn't either. 
Uh, coming in at number four, Priscilla made five million in its opening weekend on a twenty million dollar budget. Okay, that's three twenty million dollar budgets uh, in the top mm-hmm. five, and then a two hundred million dollar budget. Yeah. It's got weird numbers there. Those are weird numbers. Uh, coming in at number five, Radical made two point seven million in its opening weekend on an unknown budget. Uh, this is a Indian film, I think. I think it is. Yeah, I'm not sure what Radical is. Yeah. Uh, what's upcoming, Jeff? Uh, upcoming, a uh, very little, small, unheard movie, uh, The Marvels. It's only budget, It's only uh, predicted for $50 million. It's like one of the yeah. lowest projected Marvel openings ever. I'm yep. excited for it. I like it. I uh, like Ms. Mar- I like Captain Marvel. I like the Ms. Marvel TV show. Um, I'm yeah. looking forward to it. It's a good I, family one. I'm looking forward to it. An hour and forty five minutes. Being a, an hour forty five. Yeah, I don't care about it being a good family movie. It just looks like fun movie. Yeah, it does. That I don't and, need eighteen other movies to connect to. I mean, I'm yeah, sure it will I mean, help. It's already connecting anyway. You yes. know, you got three characters from three but different. Uh, it doesn't look like you need to know all yeah. of that. Yeah. Well, you, I think you probably have to know who uh, Captain Marvel is. You probably have to know who Ms. Marvel yes. is, and you probably have to know who uh, Monica Rambeau is. I don't know if she's taken on a code name yet or not. Uh, Rambo. Rambo. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, no, that's hard no, to I get, in. I, I get that. It's, it's spelled differently. Yeah. E-A-U at the end. Oh, okay. I get that. I'm just saying that I don't think you need to know the whole Marvel universe. Oh, no, you don't have to know anything Tony Stark did. No. You know, rumor is that they're bringing him back. Oh, I know. Uh, Why? The rumor is that they're bringing most of the big ones yes. back. Because, be- because of, Phase 4 didn't it didn't tank. live up to what the first three phases did. So they are following the comic book idea. Hey, we got a whole new generation of uh, superheroes. Oh, that tanked in two months. Never mind. We'll bring everyone back. Bring it back. Yeah. I don't really care that they... Br- I don't want Tony Stark well, back. The, the problem was they threw a whole bunch of stuff out there. Yeah. And, you know, it probably, you know, divided people's attentions. Yeah. And, you know, okay. You know, something like, okay, Ms. Marvel... That was a television show geared towards a different audience than the people who were huge. But Iron you can't Man do fans. that. So I mean, there's I don't know. I don't want them back. I mean, they're they're not going to save anything. No. I mean, the, the product is already where it's going to be. Yeah. I mean, I don't. It's going to draw more. I mean, more people. They're just going to get more people to see the movies. That's really all they. But care about. And, just, and are they though? I don't really care. I don't want them I back. Mean, he had a meaningful death. Black Widow had a meaningful death. Spoilers. Sorry, Black Widow dies. Sorry, I'm like 44 films behind, so that's oh. okay. So you're only one year behind. <laughs> so you're not up to date on Loki season two yet. Oh, there was there, the second season's out? Second season is out, yeah. Oh, okay. No, We're I, two I, episodes in. I, uh, that's why I'm, I'm two episodes in. I like the show. Yeah, I'm enjoying it Yeah, uh, when I get to it. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Uh, we have the journey to Bethlehem. I think that's religious. I think it probably has something to do with the birth of Christ. I'm hoping it's it's <laughs> it's just a title that has that zero to do with that. It's a biblical version of the Hangover. <laughs> it, this this is a live action Christmas musical adventure for the entire family. I don't know about your family. Weaves classic Christmas melodies with humor, faith, and new pop songs in a retelling of the greatest story ever told. The story. Highlander? Shawshank Redemption? The story of Mary and Joseph and the birth of Jesus. Kirk Cameron in it. That wasn't even that great of a story. No offense. As far as a biblical story goes, that was one of the lower <laughs> stories. It's not the greatest one ever told. Um, On Rotten Tomatoes, is at 56%. I mean, it's like what we... <laughs> We, we couldn't go to the inn, so we slept in a barn. I mean, that's the story. Um, I mean, at least the whipping of Christ 33 years later was a better story. I don't know. I always like the one that Jesus flipped over the tables in the church. Well, that was, that's a better that's story. A, that had an 82% I on mean, the Rotten hell, Tomatoes. The stories that he told, you know, himself. Yeah. He was a better storyteller than the story about his own life. Correct. I mean, he told the story of the prodigal son and the good that was Samaritan. A good one. Better stories. The, how you built the high table? Oh, high table building, yes. I agree. Uh, so this stars Antonio Banderas. Antonio Banderas. Oh. 
Uh, and then and no more she chat. No one else else that I've Kirk ever Kirk Cameron heard of. is in it. No, he's sure. not. No, he's not. Jim Caviezel. No. Uh, Kevin Sorbo. No. Nope. Nope. It, it it doesn't have the big three uh, Christian the, uh, warriors. Guy out from there. the Duck Dynasty. No. <laughs> oh, that's a Bill shame. Robertson. No. Chuck Norris. No. <laughs> he Walker, plays a burrow. <laughs> he plays a burrow. No, no Steven Seagal either. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Uh, Jeff, do you have uh, top five music over there? Oh, let me see. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Still waiting. That oral uh, assault is brought to you by top five. Oh, that was the top five music? Yes, that oral assault. No. Let's get sexy with the top five. Top five. It's the least favorite restaurants. How do you do that? I don't know. I don't know how we're getting oh, sexy with give me a chicken nugget. your least favorite restaurants. What? I, you, you, I swear, you, you missed out on the whole Jason being sexy Blake part. did a good job with it, too. Wow. Uh, I mean, before you came on, I mean, that, that was an ongoing bit that lasted we did. years. We did. Uh, Br- Brian, what's your number five for top five least favorite restaurants? Uh, number five for me would be the Olive Garden. Ah, oh, microwave food. I don't dislike the Olive Garden. Yeah. I mean, it's not great food, but it's, you're yeah. also paying Cheap prices. Unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks. Didn't know you were going to be critiqued on your top five, did you, Brian? Uh, You should know. (laughs) (laughs) Isn't that what we do here? (laughs) Maybe. Uh, My number five is a restaurant I go to every six months and go, ah, maybe it'll be different this time. It's not. Subway. Every time I'm like, oh, this is going to be good. I mean, there's so much better sub restaurants out there. And I go, I'll just go to Jersey Mike's. Oh, yeah. Well, Jersey Mike's is so much better, but... I mean, uh, yeah, Subway. Subway. Subway will do in a pinch. Uh, number five for you? Um, I came up with four of these okay. pretty quickly. And the number five, I was trying to... Having a problem coming up with mm-hmm. But then I think, okay, we'll go with Toby Keith's I Love This Bar. <laughs> They don't even make that place anymore, do they? It's still around in other places. It's Is just it? not here locally. You don't like their food? I have no clue. I've never eaten their food. I hate their atmosphere <laughs> and and their owner. So that's enough for me to wow put it on number five on my list. What's your number four? Uh, let's see, number four on my list is Waffle House. Oh, that's my number three. Uh, apparently, like they're best known for, I guess, their hash browns. Okay, which I guess they serve with everything they order, and I don't like hash browns. No, oh. especially their hash browns. So I have no reason to ever want to go there again. Their sandwiches are supposed to be really good, but that's it. That's oh. their breakfast sandwiches. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, my number four is BW threes. I just am not a fan. Like every, t- it's another little thing like Subway. I go there. I'm like, ah, oh, maybe this would be good. Nah, it's not really good. I, I mean. That's one that, you know, for a time I went there very often, so mm-hmm. yeah, I would get sick of it, but I wouldn't say it was... There, there's plenty of other restaurants yeah. that... I mean, well, shit. I mean, sometimes we go meet uh, Blake there uh, yes. before we even record on Tuesdays. So. Uh, number four for you, Brian? Um, Number four for me... I... Oh, and I guess that's... I'm sorry to interrupt, no, but you're good. It, it's Buffalo Wild Wings. Sorry, my bad. Or B-dubs. Sorry. They don't go with the BW3 moniker anymore because they dropped the third W. Oh, okay. I apologize. Which was whack. Oh, B-dubs. I did not know that. Uh, Brian, what's your number four? Uh, my number four, I'm going to Hobie this. Oh, Hobie the hell out of it. Any hibachi-style restaurant. Really? Ooh. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Do you not like okay. the food? Uh, I have eaten at a hibachi style restaurant. I want to say four times in my life. Mm-hmm. Three of the four. Consequently, afterwards, I got the sickest I've ever been. Ugh. Ooh. That would be so, a good reason. So, I, that, so they all fall under. Yep. Uh, what's your number three? Uh, my number three would be Applebee's. That's an honorable mention for me. 
I never disliked Applebee's. I know a lot of people I uh, hang out with uh, hated going there, so it wasn't something we did frequently. Hey, the Dollaritas are back. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> Applebee's isn't. They're just like, <laughs> I think there's yeah. like one in the greater Cincinnati area, maybe. There's a lot of closures I think when one you go in past New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is close to Ohio. Uh, my number three was Waffle House. Jeff? Uh, my number three is Raisin Cane's. Ooh. Their sauce is good. No, it isn't. Eh. I Well, I actually, their chicken's better than their sauce. Their sauce is very bland and has no I've had, flavor. I've only had... Oh, I thought that about their chicken. Their chicken has no flavor. I, I don't hate it because there's no flavor. It's it's the blandest chicken I've ever eaten. I've and only the had oat. their sandwich, and their sandwich was decent. They have a sandwich? Yeah. I did not know that. I never have had regular chicken from them. I they just, have a sandwich. Yeah, I've had chicken sandwich. they have a very limited menu. I yeah. didn't think they had a sandwich. They do have a chicken sandwich. Go and get that for you. But, I mean, they're chicken. And that was the one thing. I don't know. I can't remember if they call them chicken tenders or chicken fingers. But when my mom went to order some once and called it the wrong thing, they kind of like, oh, we don't have chicken fingers. We have chicken tenders. <laughs> it's the same fucking thing. <laughs> but, no, I, I don't think they're chicken has any flavor and i don't and you need the sauce to flavor it up and i don't like their sauce yeah and they only have one style of sauce they have one chicken sandwich huh? yeah well, maybe their chicken sandwich is good i didn't but their I, chicken if, sandwich was decent if it tastes anything like their chicken fingers i doubt it okay uh number two uh number two for me is taco bell Ah. Oh. There is nothing good at Taco Bell. They have nacho fries. There's nothing good at Taco I've Bell. I've never had nacho fries, but I really want them. I Anything that Taco Bell serves, you can get better versions elsewhere for close to, if not the same amount of money anyway. Does anyone else use grade D meat, though? Um, Taco Bell was once sued by, was it Alabama, <laughs> I think it was, <laughs> because they they couldn't claim their food was meat. Yes. So I mean, eh, I mean, it's not even grated meat. It's not meat. There was not wasn't enough real meat in their meat mixture to be considered meat. They've changed in the state that. of Alabama. <laughs> They've changed that, Jeff. I'm sure it's fine now. The, what they just lowered the standard. Yes. <laughs> uh, my number two, oh, Whataburger. 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 Oh my God! Went to Florida. Had Whataburger. Oh, you want to talk about a rough stomach issue? That was yeah. rough. Uh, Texans will hate you for that. But. I know. I'm just not a big Whataburger fan. Oh, God. We tried it twice. Did not work out either time. I have actually never had that. I don't. Just go straight to the bathroom. Hmm. Uh, number two for you? Uh, number two for me would be the Golden Corral. Oh, that's a good uh, one. Is there one around anymore? I believe. Is there still one at Northgate? I don't know. I be- the only one that I am aware of is in Eastgate. They do have one. They did see have. I sorry. I did see a commercial where they say you can celebrate Thanksgiving with them this year. No, thank you. Was it Golden Corral? I thought it was another. I don't know. I thought it was no, Golden Corral. It, it might have been. It might. I don't know. It was a buffet place. Hmm. But they was the whole family was there. It's yeah. really nice. Uh, what's your number one? Uh, my number one would be the International House of Pancakes IHOP. Ah, I'm pretty sure my brother would agree with you on that one. I have never eaten there, and. When I'm with Jim, obviously I never will because he refuses to go there. Yeah, I. They're. Uh, it's just awful. Okay. I've never had a good experience there. Service, food, anything. Just never had a good experience there. Uh, let's see here. My number one is McDonald's. What? I can't stand McDonald's. Oh, I mean, I don't like McDonald's, and I'd rather go to pretty much any other fast food place, but. It wouldn't make my list of least favorite. No, I hate it. The, the meat is dry. It's awful. Uh, it's salty. I can't stand it. It is very salty. Although it wasn't as salty as that one uh, time we went to uh, White Castle. It was over at uh, Scab Jeff's. And, mm-hmm. and we got like a big sack of, or a Crave case at White Castle and start eating one. And Jeff like, looks at me and goes, how's the burger? I'm like... It's a it's a salt burger. And he's like, what do you mean by that? I said, well, you take a bite into it, and all you taste is salt. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I don't, I don't understand what you mean. Have a burger. 
Now I understand what you mean. <laughs> Did you get the Salt Lick Burger? Maybe yeah. that's it. That was it. We ordered the case of Salt Lick Burgers. <laughs> uh, number one for you? No. Oh, oh, crap. Uh, I got this thing I'm going to play that okay. I shared on my Facebook page earlier. Oh. For, to describe my number one okay. least favorite restaurant. Papa John, I'm sorry to bother you, but my pregnant daughter asked that I bring her the worst pizza ever, and yours is that. You think we're worse than Lunchables? Yes. 7-Eleven? Look, my friend, my friend, my friend, it's late. We've done our research. The sauce, the bread, the toppings, the way it's cooked, the people cooking it, the way it tastes like the box it comes in, it's really, really the worst. I mean, you even make butter dipping sauce terrible. Well, do you want the butter sauce with the pizza or not? Yeah, no, give me a bunch of everything. <laughs> so yeah, Papa John's. Uh, it it tastes like the box that comes in. <laughs> it does. When when people say there's no such thing as bad pizza, they are not taking Papa John's into account. But they have the Shack pizza now, or whatever. Yeah, the Shackaroni. That's it. <laughs> and I like Shack, and I would like to. You know, I'm fine with him making money off of me as, as if any other millionaire is going to, but I can't do it at Papa John's. Hey, Papa John's is awful. It really is. I can't. I can't. It's indifferent. I mean, it's, I, it, you know, I, I, I mean, would, it's not my first choice, but. I mean, Little Caesars is better. Little Caesars is better. Yeah, I agree. I disagree with that. Uh, we did have two people uh, write in. Brian Ow. Can he in the year? Brian Hour. Oh. Yes. Uh, get your uh, bribes in. Canadian of the Year will be uh, coming up sooner than later. Oh, yeah. We're in November now. Yep. Bri- prime bribe season. Prime bribe season. Uh, Brian said... December any, might be too late, so get them in. Any buffet place? I don't have a problem with that. Olive Garden. IHOP slash Denny's. Man, you, you are agreeing with him there. Taco Bell. And Popeye's, Raisin Cane, Zaxby's, Golden Chick. These are all near my house where I where I can have chicken strips every night of the week and never eat at the same restaurant for 10 nights in a row. So there you go. Uh, Doctor, yeah, I've got a strip of chicken places that run right down there. there right, yeah. uh, Doctor number one has last charcuterie standing. Last charcuterie standing? Charcuterie and Lacey. The facts are... The big charcuterie theory... And the Cosby Shark Theory. Sorry, I like combining my top fives. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, so, yeah. So, there's your top five this week. Uh, bad idea of the week. Yeah, I had some honorable mentions. Oh, hold on. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I'm just going to say, uh, there are some that weren't quite bad enough to make my top five. But, I mean, just, just things where, like, for what they serve versus how much mm-hmm. they charge. You know, like Panera. They're yeah. not worth that amount of money. I agree. Arby's is up there, too. And, oh, yeah. Arby's is, can be pretty bad. Uh, Arby's is either really bad, or if there is something that's good, it, they charge too much. Yes. Yes. Um, Panda Express. Never had that. Uh, you Only can go to any. Yeah, well, you can go to any small, local Chinese place, and the food will be much better than mm-hmm. what you get at Panda Express. I'll give you that. Yeah. I, I feel like that, like... Yeah, that's for sure, and it's always seems more expensive because it's in the mall. Yeah, but uh, and then places where like I don't know, they just seem to be like so snooty, and we use all these you know whatever crazy ingredients to make it look like we're trying to be healthy shit. Like who? Like Corito. Oh, oh, Corito. They don't have good food. No, I mean it's it's really not good. You, you can make something good there, but. Most of their choices aren't no. that good because they just kind of have that. I'm not a big fan of that crappy. It just it feels like an attitude to me. Yeah. Uh, I only had Applebee's for honorable mention. Brian, you got anything? Um, I just was thinking of of some just trying to like play some restaurants around, and the only one that popped up to me was PF Chang. Yeah, oh, I yeah, agree. I like. I, like I mean, Chang. I, I feel like it's. For what, like what you're paying? Oh yeah, I like, got you. Right, like it's it's uh, like a you're paying more fancy, upscale yeah, for yeah. I feel like that with that. What's that Italian place where you get the family meals? Um, uh, Buco de Beppo. Yes, yes. I I the love food's that decent, place. 
But I always am like, eh, whatever. You just want your own dish. You don't like to have to that, family. That's don't part family of it. Style. And it's just like, oh, we get family styles because in Italy we're family. Shut the fuck up. But it was so fun the one time we were there. And because <laughs> when they seat you, they give you the tour. And when we were sitting in the wine room, every time somebody walked by, our table cheered. And this is the wine room. And we're like, yeah. Hey! yeah, we did. That, we did. Like some of the. Uh, 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 maitre d's or whatever they call them yes uh, we're trying to avoid our table <laughs> <laughs> hey so, you put us some in here. loved it some, some did didn't <laughs> yeah uh let's see here uh bad idea of the week uh number uh 201 getting in business with kanye well that is a bad idea actually it's probably like 61 oh wait a minute i'm gonna call shenanigans on yeah. you i want to throw the penalty flag yeah what's that you we, you mentioned six different restaurants yeah and you never mentioned cracker barrel Oh, fuck, yeah. Cracker Barrel's awful, too. Throw that one in there, Jeff. <laughs> I think Cracker that to be your number one. I forgot about that you place. threw me off Fucking McDonald's. Cracker Barrel. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, would you like a candle with your meal? No, just fucking give me my food. But I don't, don't want to play the peg game. I don't want to go through the gift shop. Give me a fucking, give me a seat. I want a shirt. I don't want a shirt. I don't want a fucking rocking chair either at my table. I only have three. What? Potential titles for the show. Oh, okay. What are they? I was getting ready. I've got uh, Welcome to Pussyville. (laughs) uh, 97 square feet. And The Last Leper. (laughs) I do like that one. It's a town. Uh, I like... I like chunks. I like little chunks. I like Like little chunks. Oh, mashed potatoes. Uh, Uh, Welcome to Shop Talk. And a berry surprise. Uh, I had buckos <laughs> and free range children. <laughs> you had free range children, or what's the other one you had? The last leper. Yeah, which one, Brian? Um, I like free range children. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's do that. I like the last leper. Fine, we'll do last leper. <laughs> I like free range children. <laughs> Damn it. Well, you weren't here last week, so you get you don't get a choice. All I'm saying is it's you to decide. <laughs> you can't get mad at us. You have the decision. I don't want to. Well, whoever, <laughs> I guess we'll find out when it's posted what we named it. I don't want to be a pirate. Uh, Roger says goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. From walking dead to talking heads, from comic books to TV sets, there's a history. Not so bad, there's a history. History of bad, so bad. The history of bad, it's bad. History of bad ideas. Oh, yes. You are listening to a hobie.